So, Evie, arms, can I kill me? This is why you bring cars to get groceries. Ah! Ah! Should I show our son my ass? Everyone was totally civil. I knew it sounded too crazy to be true. If buying groceries were actually that dangerous, both the moms would be dead by now. I was totally right. Samika and her mother are like the same exact person. They both get these crazy misconceptions somehow, which then gets snowballed way out of proportion. To the point that one of them genuinely believes that the plain hocha magic mushrooms are actually top shelf gourmet matsutake. <laughs> I forgot about the matsutake! I bet her mom's the one who gave her that idea in the first place. Well, at any rate, Simiga went home to get changed, so I should probably do the same before she gets back. Casual clothing. We were in our uniforms, so. I think we were. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna need some help with anything. I should probably help. Alright, if you say so. I sure hope she knows what she's doing. <laughs> we'll fucking see. We'll fucking see. I've got to admit, this is kind of nice. Just sitting here, twiddling my thumbs, knowing that my girlfriend's taking care of everything. How could I possibly focus on a video game at a time like this? The anticipation's got me on cloud nine. <laughs> <sighs> oh, well, sorry, my bad. And yet, I can't help myself. My gaze just keeps wandering back to the kitchen. I should probably help. Oh, come on, I like watching you cook. Oh, please, we're dating now, aren't we? What's there to blush about? No. Honest, I'm feeling a little flustered myself. Couple this see Couple see stuff? That's a thing. Uh, like, this doesn't come natural to me at all. But I'm trying really hard to break out of my comfort zone here. Gotta fake it till you make it, you know. I know I said I would stop overthinking things but and just be myself from now on, but there's a fine line between that and being complacent. I can't just rest on my laurels and expect to be to compensate for my deficiencies. Especially when being myself in this context would mean stammering awkwardly until anything vaguely romantic about the moment shrivels up and dies. Kind of defeats the purpose of being in a relationship, you know? You know what? I think I am going to help you out after all. No, seriously, I can focus on the game at all knowing you're in here. Come on, please. Our first time uh, going grocery shopping as a couple, and now our first time cooking together. Ah, it's like a sneak peek of what our married life could be like several years down the line. This is what contentment feels like. It's like a warm, cozy sensation. I could definitely get used to this. Alright, so, how can I help? Uh oh. Oh. My. God. Everything looks so good. That's a lot of bloom to it. There's cream, stew, braised chicken, veggies, pork cutlet, massive plate of yakisoba. For some reason. Man, you really went out all, uh, all out. Did you have the other girls teach you some of these recipes? Like, you know, yakisoba. And a loose set of rice, and any one of these could be a meal all, uh, all on its own. Hell, even the yakisoba could be a full entree. <laughs> you could have combined them. You mean the other girls? Uh, uh, yeah, probably wouldn't take all day to learn how to cook a cake. First I've heard it, 
Though you did say they all help with the cake. This is part of the little weekend crash course, huh? Makes sense, I guess. They definitely got all their own brand of uh, all got their own brand of culinary prowess, as I learned during that class cook off. But now that I know that, it's pretty obvious which recipe came from which girl. Uh, that's concerning. Yeah, come to think of it, she definitely tenderized the pork in an odd fashion. And she was very particular about what kind of breading we bought at the store. She also kept a close eye on the, uh, on the oil temperature. A combination of these things seems to have lent a unique Christmas, uh, crisp Christmas to the dish. It's, uh, it was certainly cooked with a lot of love. Well, your signature technique's not so secret anymore. Better hope I don't resell it uh, to the highest bidder. Out of legitimate fear that I may sell it? <laughs> oh, I'm just joshing you. Besides, I want to help out. Now, without further ado, let's dig in. For starters, uh, let's try that pork cutlet. Hey, that has got an interesting texture to it. Mmm. Pretty tasty to me, yeah? Should I? No, no, no need to rush. Any connoisseur knows in order truly appreciate the flavor of pork cutlet, you have to take a bite before drenching it in a sauce as a control variable. Intuitively. Okay, next up. Mmm, this stew's awesome too. Miki-chan's house, there are some sweet potatoes and some sweet potatoes. And some sweet potatoes and some sweet potatoes. You don't say. I'm not picking up on the soy or the sour cream, but... Could those be the secret behind this incredible flavor? No, I'm sure the most important factor is that she didn't use pre-packaged stew mix. It takes a lot of time and effort to make something like this from scratch. Yeah, I, I'm wondering how much time you said she made three dishes like this. After school even. After shopping for them. How late is it? <laughs> Did you get this recipe from Class Ram? The last rep knows how to bake cakes. I have a hard time picturing that. Oh boy, you need to learn how to cut with a cooking knife. Wait, was that why you're crying out in pain when she came over on Saturday? Yeah. Well, yeah, that is a relief, though. I was pretty certain she was hitting you or something. It's part of some abusive training program. I've, I've refused to do her route and actually acknowledge that that might be true. Okay, let's change the subject. Well, regardless, let's have a taste, shall we? Yep, that's another winner. And last but not least, the Yaki Soba. I've seen this before. It's Aimine's secret recipe. During the class cook-off, she was extremely fussy about using only the most high-class ingredients. But that was only possible on May's time. So I am curious how close she can come to recreating that with the plain old store-bought ingredients. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Hmm. Mm, hang on. Hmm. It's just like. How do I even describe it? It's kind of like the yakisoba you get from a school cafeteria or a festival booth or the convenience store. It's neither incredible nor terrible, and yet there's a certain quality to it that's all but impossible to recreate in your own home. It's like the quintessential yakisoba. 
That's the best way I can think of to describe it. Wow, this... This tastes nostalgic, almost. When I was in elementary school, I would have always, uh, I would always get the curry they made in the cafeteria. I loved it so much. I even begged my mom to make it for me at home. She even went out of her way to buy an industrial-sized can of the stuff like they use. But in the end, she just couldn't reproduce the flavor. It tasted completely different. Sure, some might say this yakisoba tastes cheap, but at the end of the day, the fact that it was made in my own kitchen is an impressive feat. This is... Mm, this is incredible, Samika. <laughs> oh, I will praise all the people that gave you these recipes. Yes, you're the master chef. I am in all of your culinary prowess. Though you did get a lot of help from everyone, so they deserve at least some of the credit. And I'm sure they all knew what they were teaching her for. That all their hard work was ultimately going towards something that would that would benefit me. They weren't doing Samika uh, just Samika a favor. They genuinely wanted to see our relationship succeed. Even class rep, of all people, in fact. It sounds like she was the biggest contributor of all. Man, I've really got to thank those guys for this. Mm. Same. Who knows what'll happen to our friend group after that? I mean, sure. We're all gonna be going to uh, Hakuryo U. Okay, yeah, so the, I think what I was remembering is right. So, we'll probably still be able to meet up and chat every once in a while. But, we're all not gonna be in the same department or anything. Not going to the same classes, etc., etc. I mean, going to the same college alone makes a huge difference in being able to be friends still. From what I hear, most college students are pretty swamped for the first couple of years. And if you want to do an extracurricular uh, activity on top of that, you can say goodbye to all your free time. Not to mention the part-time job you'll need to get to start willing away at those loans. And on top of that, our university campus is ridiculously spread out. So, the chances of, uh, uh, the chances of us bumping into one another on the way to class are, well, pretty slim. There's just no way to maintain a close circle of friends like this after high school. Man. Hard to believe it's already been three years. It all went by so fast. Especially after May arrived. It's crazy to think that in less than a month, we'll be leaving for good. I hadn't even really considered that until I talked with Kashiwagi at the arcade in the other day. Uh, the other day. Wait, what am I doing? This is no time to be getting sentimental. It's not supposed to be about me and Samika. It's the first time both our parents have been out of town since May left. We gotta make the most of it while we can. Forget about everyone else. Okay, no more messing around. Time to see what this pork cutlet can really do. Uh. Man, this is gonna be so good. Simika, can you grab the soy sauce for me? Uh, to enjoy your pork cutlet. The way God intended, of course. Nah, never mind, I'll just get to myself. Wait, what? Huh? What's up? Oh no, we're gonna break up over this. Huh? Nah, I like soy sauce better. Oh no. What? I use soy sauce on pretty much everything. Especially when it's served with rice. Yeah, I can deal with a little soy sauce on my rice. But steak sauce just ruins it for me. Really? Really? Is this gonna be... Okay. Yes, I get that most people like it that way, and I respect that. I'm just saying that personally, I can't do it. I don't like eggs. Uh, I don't know about Takiru, but I don't like eggs. Soy sauce, obviously. Or just table salt, I guess. Oh no! How do you not already know this? I have always been on Team Soy. Is this the deal breaker in our relationship? <laughs> it's 
not something you have to fix, dude. It's just a matter of taste, you know? Uh, hell no. Bottle alone makes me want to barf. Uh, I see. Well, that explains why it was the only sauce on the table. Seriously, what's the big deal? People have different taste buds, it's fine. Ooh, you said it out loud then. Oh, don't you think you're getting a little ahead of yourself? If it's that important to you, then you should be the one to acquiesce. From now on, we'll both be on Team Soy. Problem solved. Why are you being so ridiculously stubborn about this? Why can't we just have both? Come on. Who gives a shit about what sauces we prefer? This isn't a serious problem and you know it. Hell, you can't even tell the difference between Shimeji and Masataki's mushrooms. You got no room to be lecturing me about food. And your point is, do you want me to just try it with your recipe including sauce? If that's your point, just say it. Yeah, no shit. It wouldn't be Yakisoba otherwise. Okay, maybe she's not saying that. Okay, now you're just being ridiculous. It's really not that weird. Okay, does anyone know if this is actually a weird thing in the comments? Please let me know. I, I have no idea. Stop being such a baby. So what if I like soy sauce on my pork cut? Like, get over it. Oh my goodness. What is your problem? Get out of the way. Don't make this about us. What the fuck? Y'all really gonna go there? I can't con I can't control my taste buds. Gotcha! Soy sauce, Kind Papa. <laughs> Alright, time to sauce this baby up. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about! Oh yeah, this is delicious. Boy, isn't it nice how we can both enjoy a meal without forcing our preferences onto the other? Shit. You seriously can give me a concussion over some stupid soy sauce? Well, I have plenty of concussions already. Have you completely lost your mind? Are we really going to say that there's a concussion involved after all the bunch? Oh, whatever. This is such bullshit. What kind of controlling asshole force is there to give another stop eating things the way they like? <sighs> God damn it, some may God! Fine, I see how it is! If you're not willing to compromise on this, then neither will I! I don't negotiate with terrorists! Ugh, what the hell, man? Tonight was supposed to be romantic. We were supposed to spend the night together. What a, what a ridiculously stupid thing to argue about. Uh, something else is up in Samika's mind, then? Or is she just... Life is pain. 
There is no point. Life is pain. There is no point. <laughs> uh, so many stuff being happy about last night. Apparently we are the energy of the room. She didn't even come to wake me up this morning. She just walked to school by herself. It's her fault I slept in. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then so be it. So you can play that game. Okay, now we're really fighting. Wow, okay. Wow, you're actually reading the room for once, good Makoto. That's well, すまんな。どうして昨日喧嘩になるのよ。普通は逆じゃないの Personally, I couldn't care less about the whole thing, but to her, it's like this massive breach of ethics. She's treating me like a crook. Well, I guess I can see why they'd be worried about this. After all the effort, my Mikoto, they put into uh, put into getting our relationship off the ground, I suppose they have a right to know. Now talking about it, it's probably just gonna piss me off even more. Okay. What do you put on for cutlet? Soy sauce? Snake sauce. What Apparently, everything. Sasuke, stem from that debate. I am dead serious. <laughs> I know, ridiculous, right? But someone thought it was so important that she threw a huge fit about it. Oh, good. Glad your ears are working properly. I was just projecting so you could just hear how petty it sounds. Holy shit, Mikoto. Holy shit, Mikoto. Well, I'm glad that works for you. But unfortunately, not all of us were raised by wolves. I have a preference. The solution should be we just go with our preferences. Huh? No way! I should have to change my personal preferences just to cater to someone else's. If that's what she wanted... She should have said so! For fuck's sake, man. And if that's what she wanted, she should have said so! Yeah. Sir, no can too. Hard to relate when someone who treats me like a freaking nature just for liking soy sauce in my pork cutlet. Freaking dumbass. Acting like our future is a couple depends on it. Give me a break. <sighs> oh, right. I still want to thank you guys, though. It really means a lot to uh, me that you all came together just to help make last night special. Just... Just unfortunate that Samiko had to be a dumbass and ruin it. Oh, <laughs> great comeback, yeah. How long it take you to come up with that one? Just leave B class rep. Oh, 
This is such bullshit. What a stupid thing to get upset about. Are people gonna blame me for this? Legitimately. Legitimately. There are 100% ways both sides could have relented on it. That does- I do not honestly believe Talk Room did anything more wrong than being unwilling to talk about it more and sort of forcing his way at the end. What? Fuck off, come on. And why is that? Um, we're not talking about yakisoba here, dude. Were you even paying attention? Well, not that I blame her for turning uh, a tuning out. This is an extremely stupid discussion. Ugh. I am so done with this. Next period is in a different classroom, remember? We don't have our... We don't head over now, we're gonna get yelled at. So what? Forget about her. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't bring a lunch tonight. And there's no way in house that we can brought me one either. Not after last night, anyway. She didn't even come to wake me up this morning. Oh well, I guess I'll go buy something from the student store. Oh yeah, I remember she made all those lunches for me in extra. Okay, I, I my worry about her not being a great cook was stupid. To enemy trophy. I forgot about that stuff. Great, that's my luck. I got a late start, so all the good stuff is already sold out. Damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so frustrated I'm fucking up on that stuff too. Uh, uh hey, what's up? Oh, don't tell me it's pork cutlet with steak sauce. Huh. What the hell? She won't talk to me, but she still made me lunch? Well, to be fair, she probably knows she overreacted. Maybe this is a peace offering. That dork. Too embarrassed to come apologize, I guess. Maybe I should try to break the ice when I go return the box. Hmm. Wait, what? Yep. It's poor Cutlet, all right. Plunked down on a bed of rice. And slightly deformed from being squished by the lid. But wait. That's not all. It's totally drenched in steak sauce! That mother... Fucker! Hey, Samika, you got a problem, you little shit? Is this supposed to be a joke? Oh, fuck you! Take a look at this! <laughs> Now do you see? I'm not the one being unreasonable here. Kagami-san,いくらなんでも。ちょっとやりすぎじゃない?そんなことないもん。愛情を込めて作ったんだよ。その数だって朝わざわざあげたんだから。Oh bullshit. You can't seriously have thought that this would come across as anything but spiteful. Oh yeah, I can tell y'all really put a lot of effort into it. Oh, so now I'm the bad guy here. <sighs> How 
Can I calm down when she keeps pushing my buttons? Excuse me! Sure, I get that, but she specifically made it in a way she knew I wouldn't like. Make up I the fuck! Oh my fucking goodness. No, I'm not letting her win this one. She's just trying to force me to eat something I hate. I don't hate it though. Okay, I'm 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 digging myself into a hole. I like mentally. I I I go from I'm indifferent towards it. I just prefer it the other way to <laughs> to I dislike it this way to I hate it. I don't care if it's perfectly good food. I'm not eating it. You know what? I think I'm gonna eat this bun I got from the student store. If anyone else wants this sauce bucket, be my guest. <laughs> What's that look for? Uh, yeah. Would you eat something you hate? Okay, now you're twisting things a little. Sauce all over my uniform! My white uniform! Uh, sure. Thank you. Yeah. I know. You're telling me. Damn it, Samika starved to death. Seriously. Why do you always have to take things so far? Oh, for... Uh, this is interesting. I don't think we've seen anything remotely like this <laughs> this series either. It's interesting to see them just... It is incredibly dumb. Tagru, you're digging yourself a hole you're not going to be able to get out of if you don't do something soon. If you're getting to the point where you're claiming you hate it, that's just wrong. I I know you said that you dislike you can, you can't uh, deal with steak sauce on rice, but before you're just like, oh no, I prefer this. You didn't say you hated it, then you said you disliked it, then you said you hated it, and then you outright told her you hated it. <sighs> it's gonna turn into like him realizing he's not hating it when he tries it at some point. And Samika, Samika is being particularly dumb at this point. I know. Her intention is she made it in a way to be eaten in a way, and she wants it to be done that way because that's the way she sees is proper. And if it deviates from that, then somehow it's not the thing she made anymore. I don't know what the thought process here is. Obviously, she needs to. If you're making food for the one you love. Why are you making it about yourself? Shouldn't their taste take precedence? I'm just saying, if the point is to make them food they like, shouldn't their taste take precedence? For fuck's sake. Fucking hell. Hey, Makoto. What do you say we hit the arcade today, huh? <laughs> Why would it be? Look at her, standing there so blatantly expectant. Does she really think I'm going to apologize? That's fine, dude. Come on, we haven't been to the arcade in forever. It's so obvious Mikoto can read the room, like, so, so easily. I appreciate your consideration, my friend. I truly, truly do. But, I don't think that'll be necessary. She could probably use a little more time to cool off, I think. 
I've been saying this whole time that I think both sauces are totally valid, and it's just a matter of preference. While you've also told her to your face that you hate it, so... Yeah. She's the one who's being close-minded here. How could she possibly think that I'm the crazy one when she's literally trying to shove her ideology down my throat? Is this just a big metaphor for politics? <laughs> We're even calling it Sauce <laughs> Plus, she's never had a problem with it before, so what makes this time any different? I mean, it's not like I was trying to force her into using soy sauce or anything. Look, you don't need to worry about that, uh, about her. Come on, let's go. And uh, again, if her thing was like, I want you to try it the way I made it, the way I like it, the way that I think it works the best, please do that. Just say that and I would be quite confident, well, at least at the beginning, if she just approached it that way rather than being like, soy sauce heretic, exterminate, uh, then it would have gone fine. It would have gone fine. It would have. Ah, uh, look, you don't need to worry about her. Come on, let's just go. I don't think either of us are going to be able to focus on this. Nope. Gotcha. How's that smart gun taste, huh? Ah! Hey, hey! <laughs> You're going to have to do better than that. Well, now that I expect him to hit me from a distance, it's pretty much a spray and pray at this point. My shot only landed because I'm going to walk right into it. Just unlock that song. Uh, I wonder if Samiga's still angry. It's gotta be, right? We've had fights like this in the past, but it's never gone this far. Why is that? What makes this time so different? I mean, it's gotta be the dumbest argument in the history of mankind. I mean, sauce game, seriously. It feels like I'm in a sitcom here, I mean, sort of. Why would anyone be this stubborn about their preferred condiments? You can't seriously think that this is gonna affect our long-term viability as a couple. What the? I've been hit from where? Ah, he's running right my tail. Can't shake it. And yeah, shock and all. I can't focus. I think I was able to though, apparently. Yeah. Nah, I'm just giving myself a little handicap to even the odds a little. Hey, Hell yeah. I haven't lost yet, have I? Come and get it. What the hell, man? How have I not won a single round so far? <laughs> He's right. Now I can get my head in the game at all. I'm just too stressed about the whole Samiga thing, I guess. But, like, I didn't even do anything wrong this time. You know, you did things wrong at the key moments. Let's say that. She's the one making mountains out of molehills. And yet, I can enjoy some around of Valgaron without it gnawing at my brain. What? What even is my life anymore? Makoto, let's go again. win a single match all day. Why am I stressed about... Uh, why am I so stressed out about this? is the one in the wrong, isn't she? You're stressed out not because it's right or wrong, but because you do actually think that this may lead somewhere worse. Oh, I thought I was finally starting to get a hang of this relationship thing. <laughs> oh. I was ready to go all in on this... Stop being afraid of what other people might think. I was just ready to just be myself, while still fixing the parts of me that are too immature. But Samiga just had to go and throw all that away. Yeah, I realize that it's a stupid thing to fight about. But does it mean I'm about to back down? If I let her have this one, it'll be a matter of time before she starts criticizing what brand of miso I use. <laughs> 
or which ramen broth I prefer, or how firm I like my rice. <laughs> those aren't things I should have to change for. Okay, those are interesting things, because if you're talking about brands of a specific thing, typically you're not going to get multiple for multiple people. If you're like in a household unit, you're going to pick one that you both like and you stick with it even if it's not your favorite. That makes sense. You're going to have soy and steak sauce, though, I imagine. They're two different things entirely. So, that's not really the same thing. Uh, which ramen broth I prefer. Same sort of idea, since I don't think you can make them separate. Sauces are added after the fact, though, so... It's not that big of a deal. Same idea with the rice. You're not going to cook them uh, twice differently. Yeah, those aren't good comparisons, in my opinion. Like, I, I get the idea that, yeah, there are some things that you need to sort of find a middle ground on, food-wise, especially, if you're going to live together, but yeah. We're all thinking about your terrified, terrified face when you have to go up in graduation with that, like, little devil cosplay on. Actually, you know, everyone's being super quiet. What gives? Honestly, I didn't even notice until now. I've got other things on my mind. Once again, Samika uh, neglected to come wake me up this morning. But I anticipated this time, so I made sure to set my alarm clock so I wasn't late for school again. I'm not sensing the same vitriolic aura from her today. In fact, it feels like things are starting to cool down, but it might be the sort of cooling down where she's giving up. Hmm. Maybe she's starting to feel a little guilty? Hard to tell. Well, whatever. Better let sleeping dogs lie. I'll give her some space for now. Hmm. For what? Can we just talk here? Right. Of course not. Um. Okay, got it. Oh, God, it's freezing out here. And you're wearing a skirt. Couldn't you have picked some place indoors? Well, excuse me, princess. So, what do you want to talk about? So, it is about to me, then. Me. <laughs> Apologize, sir. So did I. Nakanao is the child. Whoa. Now hold on. Let's get one thing straight. Wakatiru, I yo. Betsuni, Shirogane Kunga, Warina, and Tomot, and I know. Then why should I apologize? Kino, no, Sakara, Imama, de Nani Mokanji Nakatano? Hmm? I mean, it did feel a lot quieter than usual, now that you mention it. Hmm? You think that's our fault? Why? It's our problem, not anyone else's. Why would the whole class be on edge about us? Are they just worried about us or what? You're right, I don't get it. Why is everyone treating this like such a big deal? Sure, we made a big scene in front of the class during lunch yesterday. But from an outsider's perspective, and this was quiet and gloomy during the beginning of yesterday as well, but from an outside, uh, outsider's perspective, that argument probably looked like a ridiculous comedy routine. Wouldn't most people just point and laugh at us for getting so fired up over something so trivial? I mean, I would have been pretty pissed off if they had, but, you know, still. And what's that supposed to mean? 
いつもと違うって察してるってことよ。しろ。I'm sure. It's a bit more serious than usual, I guess. その通りね。今日の朝も昨日みたいにやってたら、まだマシだったかもしれない。Mm. でも実際はどうお互い無視し合って。Well, I just figured it would be a good idea to give her some space. It's my de hot dog key. Jibun kara ayamaru tsumori nante nain de show? Kagami san dat te so yo ne. How long? I'm not really sure. Just in one of his caves, I guess. Then things will go right back to normal, just like they always do. Dat tara, ima sono kikkaki wa anata ga tsukutte yo. Oh, no. She's the one who needs to apologize. Ah, mo. Wakaranai to ne. Anata tachi ga dou motte ruka nante kanke nai no yo. But it does a little bit, doesn't it? It does a little itty bitty bit, doesn't it? Because if I apologize, it's a relationship. It's not a. It's, it's not just some friendship that's so surface level that you can just be like oh okay sorry whatever and then just go back to ignoring all the problems it's a relationship it's one that actually seriously believes on both sides that they could go the distance these are people that believe they should be could be want to be together for a long time if you leave those sleeping dogs literally lie and just try to be in a relationship normally and just let that fester that's not a good idea The perceptions about what should be, what could be, what will be, will be very different on both sides. And no, that's not necessarily the best point to make. Both sides need to apologize. They need to realize where they're wrong, and they need to understand the ultimate solution. So, no, it's not just cave and apologize and go back to normal. It can't be that. Both sides need to. So. Yeah. No. No, it's not. I'm sorry if we're not talking to each other is enough to put people off a bit in the classroom, but that's really not their problem. Or it shouldn't be my problem if they're that. Put off from their normalcy by that. I understand you. I understand Tama, Makoto, I mean, a all that. I can understand that. I can. But no, not just everyone else that like vaguely know us as acquaintances and whatnot. No, no, that's not something you should put on us. And I. <laughs> no. Minna no hoga o casino? Anata no ronija, stony yano moyo sasetara. We're not talking to them. We're not just obligated to fix our fucking relationship because we're inconveniencing other people. This isn't their relationship. I'm not talking to them. I'm not saying anything to them. I'm not acting on them. I'm not affecting them outside of the fact that they're obligated to be around me for a while. That's no. It's not a matter of being offended or not. No, that's completely different. No, I don't think that at all. Obviously, it's not your fault if someone hurts your feelings. Even a child can understand that. Resolve does not mean to actually apply a solution, and that's my problem. For me to. For me to cave. Probably right, but、uh, the knowing how this will go would be because because if you just cave, the problem is that it's not sincere. Even if you try to act normal and whatnot, both sides have to cave. That's the real. Because what's just gonna happen is that if one side caves and the other can't, Takaru's not just gonna sit there and just take it for the rest of his life. It's just gonna blow up, and probably right away if it just. Becomes a Samika like, <laughs> I was right, or something like that. <sighs> She's probably right with how emotional Samika's being right now. I don't see her backing down anytime soon. It, it, 
there's the chance that she's in an emotional state and a mental state that if he caves, she might be like, oh, I'm sorry, too. And then they can work it out. Yes, that's possible. But it could also get worse. And I'm not necessarily saying caving's not the right general approach to it, but the idea that it's, oh, you got a cave, so you can just, you know, get this out of the way. No, 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 no. And I'm, take, I'm taking this way more seriously than I do with a lot of things. My fucking goodness. Yeah, all right. Now I'll try to talk to her after school and see what I can do. <sighs> yeah, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, yeah, you're the one who picked the location, too. Pretty sure she was joking, though. <sighs> Whatever. If it's really making everyone that miserable, then I guess I'll just apologize and get over with it. Or get it over with. just wanted to say you were right I'm sorry now can we stop the stupid fight already everyone in class is starting to get really worried about us yeah haven't you noticed I guess I didn't notice myself until the last rep pointed it out for me but yeah, so, we cool? Yes. <laughs> this is gonna happen how I think it is, isn't it? About what? Alright. <sighs> You kidding me? She still won't let that go. Well, I mean to each their own. Nothing wrong with that, I don't think. I'm sorry for the fucking fight, not the opinion I have. What? No, it's just a your speech. No, that has nothing to do with it. Come on. Don't get hung up on something so trivial. Why? Say, why? You're right, I shouldn't have said it like that, and I apologize, so please, let's just forget about that. Oh, I already apologize. What more do you want from me? I'm trying to let you win here. No. You want me to start all the way over? Look, I'm just trying to bury the hatchet here, alright? We can't keep doing this if it's affecting the entire class. Right, so come on. Dude, you need to knock this shit off. You don't want to make our friends uncomfortable, but winning is still more important? Is that what you're saying? Then. Knock it off already! There shouldn't be any buts about it! This isn't just about you anymore, you hear me! Because you're pissing me off! 
You get where I'm coming from, don't you? Then just shut up and nod your head! What do you mean? You can't let this go. Of course you can, dumbass! Yeah, I, this is going exactly how I figured. Just stop crumbling and act your goddamn age! Is a steak sauce really that important to you? Is the thought of me liking something different literally going to kill you? Don't be fucking ridiculous! Still not letting it go, huh? Must be something real important then, oh, right? Let's hear it. <laughs> well, I'm listening. <laughs> You're too chicken shit to say it! Don't open your mouth in the first place, dumbass! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you know, this might, it might be an interesting thing because from my vague understanding of Japanese culture is that there is actually a general um, feeling of obligation to make yourself uh, useful, convenient for the group as a whole rather than doing a lot of, you know, selfish, essentially. Uh, acts and priorities. Probably should have talked about this outside. Wow. I didn't know you were so self-centered. You're just... Shirogane, no dame. I am Minai. Well, I apologized. Happy now? Yeah, that's about how I figured. Oh, damn it, dude. I don't even know what just happened. It just keeps going from bad to worse. Why would Samika even think something like that? Oh, are, are you really not getting that, Doctor? Yeah, that, 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 yeah. That seems like a good thing in hindsight, at the very least. If it was going to go that direction. もう<笑> What was it? No, she didn't, but... <sighs> Maybe that's a Japanese culture thing, ultimately. To say, I mean, just to say that much. Maybe the translation isn't perfect in getting across what she said, essentially. Uh, I don't know the implications. Maybe there isn't a good localization for it, basically. Watashiはゆるせないけど。鏡はゆるせる。うん。けいちゃん。あ、分かったわよ。あやみにさんの言うことはもっともだわ。悔しい。どうするの?ちょっと考えてみる。簡単な話じゃないし。いいでしょ? Uh, oh, sure. Thanks. Teenage drama, teenage drama, teenage drama. Samika, what on earth are you thinking? Most of the time, I can even... I can tell exactly what's on your mind, even if you won't tell me outright. Right now, 
I genuinely have no idea. Not even a clue. I mean, I get that you're saying you feel like our problems as a couple are more important than those of our classmates. Even in my fit of rage, I was able to pick up on that much. But, like, why the hell would you say something like that when the whole class is within earshot, maybe? Because I was provoking her into it, I have made mistakes. I mean, come on. Even if you realize my apology wasn't totally sincere, you didn't have to go that far. I mean, at the very least, she could have had... If the point was in order to reconcile for the sake of the class hearing us, reconcile and be like, Oh, no, everything's fine now. Something like that, then yeah, I... She probably could have picked up on that and then went outside and been like, Okay, let's really work through this. But, no, okay, teenage drama, teenage drama, na 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 teenage drama. I was just trying to give you an excuse to call off the fight without sacrificing your pride. Are you really not gonna let this go until I cast away my soy sauce idols and prove that I've seen the error of my ways? It sure seems that way. To be completely blunt, I'm pretty disgusted with you right now. Well... Yeah. Like I said, even if you want to compare it to the idea that you're not going to be just making, like, cooking things differently every single way, uh, and whatnot. It's like... It's like going to a, a restaurant and, like, demanding that... Like, you get a steak and demanding that everything's cooked medium well, because you like medium well. When someone's like, I like it rare, I don't like it that way. It's like, okay, but I much prefer it this way. They're... I understand when it's a matter of getting a certain, like, the examples from before. Getting a certain brand, yeah, you're not going to be buying a bunch of different brands just for the sake of that. Something like rice, where you cook in one big batch, yes, understandable. I don't even remember what the third one was. It was also stupid, I think. This is just like, it's a condiment. It's like saying, oh, your hamburger, you don't like it with ketchup. You like mustard on your hamburger? How dare you? This is important. We can't have ketchup and mustard as two different condiments in our household. The fact that she's getting so upset about it and is unwilling to relent on that concept. I understand. If all she wanted was for me to try it in a certain way, fine. That's all she had to say. But this, when you think about it, it's so dumb. You really gotta learn to pick your fights, Kin. I mean, if you really want to make your classmates hate you... That's your prerogative, but do me a favor and leave me out of it. That's a bad attitude, too. If you want to be in a relationship with her, it's your problem, too. It's always going to be your problem. Thank God today was a Saturday and most people were out the door the moment the bell rang. Even the ones that did hear what you said might forget about it over the weekend. And there's still a chance this won't constitute complete social suicide. For your sake, better not. Oh, 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 oh,